Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, my dear students. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hello, hello Helen. Hello, William. Hello, Alexis. Hello, Lionel. Hello. Okay. All of you are connecting. That's fantastic. I hope everybody uh, has had a very good day. Today, we are going to work a little bit on uh, the platform, and we're also going to work on some exercises. So I hope everybody is advancing in a good way on all the things that we are doing in the platform, okay? Okay. So this is basically what we're going to do today on this one. Okay, my dear students, how many sections have you covered on the platform? ¿Cuántas secciones llevan ya cubiertas en la plataforma? Ajá. Yo tres llevo. Okay. Empezó a las cuatro hoy. Okay, perfect. That's fantastic. That's fantastic because you have advanced a lot and that is good. Okay, Helen. Igual yo en la cuatro. Okay, Delia is in section number four. Let's see. Helen, how many sections have you advanced in the platform? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so this is a moment for you to open the platform and we're going to advance together, okay? Okay. So if you can open the platform and go along with me, that will be perfect. Pueden abrir la plataforma, irla trabajando ahí junto conmigo. Vamos a ir viendo el avance que han tenido, eh, las cosas que ya han hecho y las que no, pues les han dado algún problemita por ahí. Las vamos a trabajar juntos, ¿ok? So, in this case, let me know when you have the platform open. Ok, me avisan cuando ya hayan abierto su plataforma. Ok, ok. Good evening. Good evening, hello. Hello, hello. Ok, so I am going to share my screen so we can all see the platform here. I am going to open it. Ok, so this is your uh, basically the platform that we have for uh, for this level and you have different sections right where you develop the different topics that we have been working on and the first evaluation that we have here and in this one you have to write my your his or her in la primera evaluación tenían que escribir ya sea my your his or her so in this one, it says, hello, what's your name? Hi. My name. My name is Antonio. In this case, you have to be very careful with the capitals, right? My name is Antonio. What's her name? Her. Her name. Her name is Nicole. What's his name? His name, his name is, is Michael. His name is Michael, right? So. This one was a very short exam, but you have to be very careful. Aquí lo que teníamos que tener mucho cuidado eran las mayúsculas. ¿Por qué? Porque son las que iniciaban las oraciones. This was an easy exam, right? Then you had the alphabet. And in this one, the uh, activity on the alphabet was spelling, right? Spelling names. We are going to listen to the conversations and you are going to tell me which is the spelling that you can listen on each of them. Let's listen on the first one. Go ahead. How do you spell the names? Listen and check the correct answers. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J O. N. Okay, thank you. 
Number one or two? Was it number one or number two? Two. It was J-O-N-H or J-O-N? Did you listen to the to the audio? No. Okay. <laughs> because I was sharing, I was sharing the sound, right? Okay. Let's see. Veamos si eh, me avisan si lo pueden escuchar. How do you spell the names? Listen and check the correct answers. Can you listen to it now? ¿Lo pueden escuchar ahora? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Listen to conversation one. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J-O-N. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. The first one or the second one? The first one. The first one, J-O-N, right? Number yeah. two. Two. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S-A-R-A-H? No, my name is spelled S-A-R-A. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, it's S-A-R-A. Uh-huh. First one. The first one, right? The first one. Yes. Conversation number three. Got it. Thanks. Three. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen. That's S-T-E-V. No, it's spelled S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Oh, excuse me. S-T-E-P-H-E-N. That's right. Uh-huh. One or two? Four. Two. Your name is? It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E? -E? No, it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Oh, so it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. Uh -huh. second one. The second one. one or the first one? Yeah, the second, second one. one. And the last one, Chris or Chris? Let's listen to this one. Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C-H-R-I-S? No, it's spelled K-R-I-S. Chris with a K. Chris uh -huh. with a K. Thanks. Here's one. Chris with a K, right? And there you have it. That was the second exercise that you have to do. So it was not really complicated. On the next evaluation that you had here, you were supposed to work on filling the blanks with the exercise. We did this exercise in class, right? And it says, excuse me, are you a Stephen Carson? No. No. I am not. not. No, I am, I am not. My name is David Medina. My name is David Medina. Steven is over, over there. there. Steven is over there. And it says, You, are Steven Carson? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you, are you Steven Carson? Hi. I'm Nicole. I am Nicole Johnson, right? And in this one, I am Nicole Johnson. I think I have the incorrect flicker. Steven. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, right? It's nice to meet you. And I think I have it done, right? There you go, right? It was very simple to complete with yes or no. Este ejercicio lo hicimos en clase, ¿lo recuerdan? Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? It was the first one. And in the last one, we were going to take phone numbers, okay? And we did this exercise as well. And 
it says listen to the conversations and write the different phone numbers okay we are going to check it and you are going to send me the phone numbers on the chat okay so pay attention me envían los números en el chat ready there you go no. number one <laughs> no. and okay wait, wait, wait. go ahead go ahead okay. go ahead Okay. Me avisan cuando estén listos. Ya. Yeah. Ready? Steady? And... Yes. Oh. Complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's 212-555-1937. Two one two five 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 one nine three seven. Yes, that's uh -huh. it. Uh huh. Did you get the phone number? No, I can't. I can't list this. Okay, let's check again, right? I am going to reshare my audio. Okay, let's listen again. Me avisan si tienen problemas para oírlo. Okay. Listen and complete the list. Can you listen? Yeah. No. No? No, I can't. Helen? No? No. Can. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? Mm. Nothing? Uh, tengo problemas. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to we're going to ah, we're going to omit tengo this. Tengo problemas para estar usando las dos cosas a la vez. O sea, Estar usando el navegador y estar usando eh, la aplicación de Zoom. Okay, so don't worry, don't worry. So in this one, what you have to do is to write the telephone number, right? You have to write the telephone number. And how are you going to write it? For sure, here you have one example. And it says, listen to the conversations and complete the phone number. For example, John Smith's phone number, 212 six nine five three five three oh right remember to write the parentheses and the rest of the numbers okay mm -hmm. who got this one alguien eh, obtuvo este yeah which one is it two one two five uh -huh. five five one nine three seven okay so we're going to steal this one i am going to steal it from here Two one two five five five. Uh huh. One nine three seven. One nine three seven. Uh -huh. Let's mm. check. I am going to play the other one so maybe someone can get it. Okay. It's two one two five 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 one nine three seven. Two one two five 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 one nine three seven. Yes, that's it. Okay, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Sarah. Her number is three four seven five 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 seven six four five. Three four seven five five five. Seven six four five. That's right. Do you have it? Yeah. Which one is it? Three four five. No, three four seven five 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 seven six four five. Seven six four five. So, and that's the idea, right? That's the way you should complete all the different phone numbers in this exercise, right? But the thing on this one was that you write the uh, the number exactly as I did it there, right? With the parentheses, with the with all the different sections. Why? Because if not, you were going to get an incorrect uh, answer. Okay. So this was the idea. Because of the problems with the audio, we're not going to listen to the rest one. But you know how to do it, okay? Ahí ya les queda cómo es que lo teníamos que hacer por si de repente alguien le dio algún error mientras lo estábamos realizando, right? And let's see. Okay. Uh, 
un, un, hay uno de sus compañeros que tiene un problema para entrar, que si alguien le puede mandar el link. Si alguien tiene el link a la mano, me hace el favor so de enviarlo. Please on the chat. Thank you. So, here, section number two, that it's mainly what we all have finished. Yo creo que ya todos terminaron esa también. And we're going to go over this one. It's kind of slow, but it's working. Okay. So if anybody can help me with the link on the chat, that will be very good. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think they sent another link. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. But it was good. Thank you for sending the link of the homework. There we go. We're going to work on the next section. My computer is kind of slow right now. I don't know what's going on. But we are working here. On section number two, right? We, it's what we were doing in classes. Yesterday, we were talking about this one. We did this exercise in class, right? What is number one here? What's this? And you have here the example. What are these? They are keys. Right, it's the first one. They number two, number two, what is this? It's um, a CD player. It's a CD, CD player. player. It's a CD player. Number three, what are those? <laughs> I gave you the answer. <laughs> number three, it says, what are these? Are these or is ah. this? Are these? Are these? Are these? Remember that when you use the plurals, you say these for plurals. This with I is for only one. Cuando lo tenemos con I, this es para solo uno. Es un singular. En cambio, para plurales decimos these con eh, this type of, of writing. They are backpacks. Number four, what's this? It's only one. What's this? A watch. It's a watch. It's a watch, right? Very good. Number five. It's a cell phone. And so in this one, how do you complete the sentence? What is this? What is this, right? What is this? Porque solamente uno. What is this? It's a cell phone. And number six. What are these? They are sunglasses. So you say they are sunglasses, they are backpacks, or they are cell phones? They are, they sun are, sun sun they are sunglasses, right? They are sunglasses. And then you have the correct answers, right? You have to be very careful. El uso de this con I es solamente para singulares. Para plurales ocupamos these. Ok. Cuando es singular, pero no lo podemos tocar, ¿qué palabra ocupamos? Ajá. That. that. Good. Y for plurals? Those. 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 Very good. Right. You have these and those. Very good. Here you had another evaluation for unit number two. And this one, we did it yesterday. Este lo hicimos justamente ayer en clase. And we have, these your keys? Yes, they are, thanks. What do you need here? Si tenemos aquí plural aquí y plural aquí al final. Are, are. Are. Are these your keys? Yes, they are, thanks. No podríamos tener what, porque no tenemos otro tipo de información aquí. Si tenemos yes or no, la pregunta tiene que empezar con are o is. Okay. This your umbrella. No, it is not. What is missing here? Is this. Is. Is. is this your umbrella? No, it is not. The next one. Are my glasses? They are on the table. Tenemos Where? información. No tenemos yes or no. Where? Where are Where? my glasses? They are on the table. Very good. Is this my pen? No. It is not. No, it it's is mine. not. It's no. mine, right? No, it is not. It's mine. And you have it there. Good. Very good. And one of the last evaluations we had for this unit, 
We also this one. We also did this one yesterday when we were studying the prepositions. Of, and it says the books are. What are the books? Are these in back? The books are in the book bag. In the, in. In the book bag. In book bag. In the book. The books are in the book bag. The DVD player is the next to the television. Next to the TV. Good. The map is under in the on the new paper. Under? Under the newspaper. newspaper. Okay, sorry for the capitals. Under the newspaper. Sure. Newspaper. Uh, the chair is? Behind the desk. The chair is behind yeah. the desk. The wallet is? In the purse? in in the, or in on the purse on 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 the purse on. right the wallet is on the, the purse. purse and here you have the period the cell phone is in front of the what is address book in front of uh, the address book very good the cell phone is in front of the address book okay the address book good and in this one we are going to check the answers that you have there okay vamos a poner el audio para que ustedes mismos puedan revisar sus respuestas and here you have it let's check it complete these sentences then listen and check your answers one. The books are in the book bag. Two. The DVD player is next to the television. Three. The map is under the newspaper. Hmm. Four. The chair is behind the desk. Five. The wallet is on the purse. Six. The cell phone is in front of the address book. Okay, and there you have it, right? I think maybe here. Yeah, oh my God, I didn't. <laughs> the ah, point. The point. The period, right? The period is already on the sentences. But you see, this is a very good example of the mistakes that you can have, okay? Se pueden dar cuenta, un error tan pequeño les puede marcar algo como incorrecto. And you say like, oh, you see, it was the period. Something so little, and you say, hey, come on, ¿por qué no me sale correcto? ¿Por qué no me sale correcto? Lo he puesto 80 veces. It was the period, right? ¿Por qué? Porque el punto aquí estaba ya en las oraciones. La plataforma tiene esos detalles que es como muy quisquillosa en esas cosas. Tenemos que fijarnos muy bien en cada uno de los ejercicios que hacemos. So you see? It was just the period, right? It was just the period. And for this one, the last exercise that we have here is what we did on the class, right? I present you the different pictures and we were mentioning where the things were, okay? Donde estaban las cosas. Here we have a conversation. Listen to the conversation and check the correct answer. Okay, vamos a poner la conversación. Espero que todos la puedan escuchar. Where are Kate's earrings? Where are the earrings? ¿Dónde están los aretes? Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are, in my purse. Now, where's my what? Where are the earrings? In her purse. In my purse. In her purse. And now, 
She's looking for the watch. What is the watch? Hmm. It's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Where is the watch? In front in of front. the television. In front of the television. Very good. Thank you, Victor, that you were marking it there. Very good. Where are the sunglasses? Let's check on the sunglasses. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. My sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just... Where are the sunglasses? On the chair. On the chair. On the chair. And the address book. The address book is the I last one. I need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Where is it? Under the under. table. Under the table, right? It was under the table. So this was basically it on the section number two. Okay? So that was the last exercise. And in this one, this is what we were doing here, where are Kate's things? So, eh, is it clear? Hemos tenido algún otro problema, además eh, de los que ya mencionamos, de los puntos, las mayúsculas, en estas secciones? No? Yes. Which one, Victor? I don't know how, how, to, I don't know how to say apostrophe. Yes, the apostrophe. That's a big problem. But yes. my recommendation is that they always give you one example. Ellos siempre les ponen un ejemplo. Si de repente en su teclado no está el apóstrofe correcto, copien el ejemplo. Copy and paste. Copy, copy and paste. Copy and paste. That's the best thing that you can do. Because in some cases we have the incorrect apostrophe and then it's a problem. Okay, a veces tenemos el apóstrofe incorrecto y lo ponemos mal y de repente es una quebradera de cabeza en contra. Because in the section number four, May, okay, yes, they, 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 they asking us that uh -huh. we use the short, short way to answer. Exactly. So, like in these cases, for example, como se pueden dar cuenta, por ejemplo, aquí, solo agarro uno como un ejemplo, aquí está uno. Entonces, lo que yo siempre les recomiendo es que si no tenemos el apóstrofe correcto, mejor lo copien de la misma plataforma y ocupen ese. It can be better. Right. This is section number three, the one that we're going to study tomorrow, but this is something that you can advance. We have only three evaluations on this one. And something that I wanted to show you, right here you have another listening, but something that I wanted to show you is that for this weekend, we should have advanced up to this one. Al menos para este fin de semana tenemos que haber terminado esta parte que les voy a mostrar ahorita. Okay. Ya tiene que estar completada. La que dice midterm section. Y creo que ya muchos de ustedes la hicieron. Así que si no la hemos hecho, pues ahorita se la voy a enseñar para poder pasar de regreso a nuestras clases regulares. Ok. Um, yeah. Let, let's wait. Eso es como las impresoras. Si me pongo nervioso enfrente de ella, no se apura. <ríe> It's like, hey, in front of the students, come on, internet. Don't be like that. The students are watching. Okay, it's like, no me muevo. No me muevo. <laughs> it's not moving at all. But uh, the idea is this one. Creo que ya vieron la parte de que dice midterm evaluations. Ah, there you go. Thank you very much. <clears throat> These ones, you have different exams that correspond to the previous three units that we have had. Eso corresponden a las tres secciones anteriores. Casi siempre está un listening. Este tenemos spelling. El segundo es una conversation que tenemos que completarla ya sea con los possessives might, your, his, or her. The next one, you have to complete the conversations with the correct form of the verb to be. The next one, uh, complete the, the greetings. Goodbye, have a nice day. We did this one in class as well. The next one, 
answer the questions correctly, what are, si es plural, no vamos a poner it, this, sino que tiene que ser this. Right, you have to be careful with this one. Gracias. Earrings, right, plural. Sunglasses, plural. No. Are these. Ajá. So you say, are these your sunglasses? Porque la, es la única opción plural que tenemos, porque estas dos son singulares. So you say, no, not. They are, they are not. So you say, no, not. it's not, it's not possible because you need the subject, right? No, they are not, okay? Oh, no, it is not, I think. So you can have it mm -hmm. as well. No, it is not. Well, we have the two options, this one. But I think you have to, com to complete the sentences with the sequence of the questions. Creo que aquí yes, viene, because, viene because la secuencia. This is, this is number one, 1A, one 1B. One one B. This is 2A, 2B. 2A, 2B. Are right? your sunglasses, are these your sunglasses? No, they are not. Is are not. a notebook? Is this? Is a notebook? No, it isn't. It's another book. Uh -huh, exactly like that. You have to complete it with the sequence of the previous one. The next evaluation that you have here is prepositions of place. Aquí tenemos las preposiciones como las que vamos a dar ahorita en los ejemplos que ustedes escribieron de la tarea, porque sé que la hicieron. No crean que ya se me olvidó. <laughs> I remember, I remember the homework. And this is from uh, the uh, section number three, countries, nationalities, right? Here you have a complete the conversation with the correct answers. Hiroshi, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we, and here you have are, okay? Oh, you from Tokyo? If you are going to complete the conversation, say, are you from Tokyo? No, we are not, right? Because it's plural and they are talking about the two. And in this one, you say, we are from Kyoto, right? We from are, Tokyo. because they are talking about Kyoto. you and Kyoto. Michael from Japan. Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? Aquí tiene que ser mayúscula porque es el primer el inicio de la oración. No, we are not, right? We are from Kyoto, in plural. And then you submit your exams. And in this one, the last one that you have as part of the midterm evaluation is the conversations, right? And it says, look, who's that? Where is he from or what's his name? Oh, he's a new student. Who's that? Who's that? King Hesse, right? Oh, who's that? He's a new student. And it says, I think his name is Shanku. What will be the question? What is his name? What is his name? Porque tenemos, I think his name is Shanku. Shanhu. What is the only is one that we're from? missing? Where is he Where from? Is he from? Where is he from? He's from? He's from? China, and then you complete your sentences, ok? So, eso es eh, al menos el avance que tenemos que llevar de la plataforma hasta el momento, si ya avanzaron mucho más, perfecto, ok? So, quería tomarme ese ratito para ir y ver la plataforma y ver que vayamos avanzando todos al mismo tiempo y que no se nos vaya quedando nada, nada, nada ahí en la plataforma. Si hay algunos de ustedes que ya la terminaron, pues, si en más de algún ejercicio sacaron menos de 100, es el momento para ir y corregir y que ustedes vayan con su plataforma al 100%. Ok. So, we had homework from yesterday. Ajá. Uh -huh. We had homework from yesterday and you had to create sentences with a picture. Right? Les dejé una foto por ahí. El día de ayer. No, no dice. Uh, no. Ah. Hey, homework, what? What is that? Ah, uh, what homework? Ah, uh, I don't remember, teacher. No recibimos, no recibimos, teacher. <laughs> I have the video, I have the video. Thank God for the videos. <laughs> I have the video of the class that I assigned the homework. So in this one, 
you had to create 10 sentences using this picture. Okay, I am going to ask each of you to give me two sentences, okay? Cada uno me va a dar dos de sus oraciones, escoja dos de todas las que tenga, de todas las que escribió, y me las va a compartir. Vamos a empezar en el orden que me los presenta las cámaras, así que no me diga, ¿y por qué yo primero? No, that's the order of the cameras, okay? Delia is the first one. <laughs> Delia is the first one that I have on the camera. Okay, if not, Edward wants to do the first one. Okay, boys first. Somos caballerosas y dejamos pasar a Edward. Oh no, Delia primero. Primero, primero las damas. <laughs> yeah. Gracias. Convenience, convenience. Oh, okay. Delia, go ahead. Okay. Um, con, con el word. Oh, solo la sentence. You give me the complete thing. Where is wow. complete sentences? Go ahead. Okay. Where is the chairs? Uh -huh. and the chairs table, telephone in front of the door. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. What is the question? Where is the? What is the question? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Uh, Where is the? Where is the chairs? The chair. chair. Pero me parecían tres cosas. Ajá, Ajá. Entonces por eso le agregué las otras dos más. Ok, so, si decimos aquí, where is the chair? Tendríamos que escoger una locación. Where is the chair? It's... Can you help me? Where is the telephone? Ajá. Uh -huh. The telephone in the floor. Aha, uh -huh. so let's let's write it there. I am going to write it on the chat. Where is the chair? So in this case, you say the chair is on the table. The chair is on the table. Porque está sobre la mesa. And the next one, you say the telephone is under the table or you can say the telephone is on the floor <laughs> exactly right so you say the telephone is on the floor ahí se las envía el chat para que las pueda corregir y las pueda poner completas okay thank you very much Delia for your examples Mr. Mm -hmm. Edward go ahead Uh, ¿Cuál, mister? Miss, miss. <laughs> mister is a man. Ok. You say, uh, your sentences, las que escribió. Las que hizo en su tarea. Where is chair, dice. Ajá. Uh, Pero esa es la que tenemos aquí. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hicimos la tarea, Edward. <laughs> Lo siento, sorry, pero. <risa> pero Give... el... Ajá. Analyze it, ok. Escriba la oración, escríbame dos oraciones y de ahí vuelvo con usted, ok, para que me dé los ejemplos. Ok. Ok. Let's see. Eh, Lionel, what is your example? Um, umbrella. Ajá. What is. Um, what is the umbrella? Mm -hmm. uh, the umbrella is um, of picture. Behind? Uh, behind the pic? Oh. The picture. The picture. picture. The picture. So let me write it right here. I am going to write your example here. Uh, it says the umbrella is behind the picture. Okay, the umbrella okay. is behind the picture. Y si se fijan, aquí tengo el primer objeto, la, el verbo is, después tengo la preposición de lugar, behind, y después tengo el otro objeto. The umbrella is behind the picture. Okay. Another example. Lionel, otro ejemplo. Um... Uh -huh. 
el puedo hacer el del el, el cell phone. Ajá, the cell phone. Where is the cell phone? The cell, uh, what is the cell phone? The Ajá. cell phone is um, under, perdón. Sería under. It can be on, it can be under. It's okay. Cualquiera de los dos. Uh, on the, the table. On the table. Sí, uh, bueno. The cell phone is on the table. On the table, en la mesa, o under the table? Under the table. Under the table. Good, very good. Very good. Let's continue with uh, Ronnie. Uh, the, where, where is the newspaper? Uh -huh, the newspaper. The, the newspaper. The newspaper is next to the curtain. The newspaper is next to the curtain. Yeah, that's good. Uh, where, where is the white? Uh -huh. the, the white from, is from the TV. Uh, okay, that's not a watch. That is a clock. You see, the clock is is in front in front of the TV. Aha, uh -huh. that it's a clock, right? Watch is the one that you put on your hand, right? The one that you put here, uh -huh. it's a watch. This uh, one is a clock. Okay. Y el que ponemos en la pared también, it's clock. clock. Very good. Uh, clock. Let me see. Alexis. Thank you. Thank you. Alexis, give me your examples. Mis oraciones. Yes. Ya se la digo. Where is the cell phone? Uh -huh. uh, my cell phone is on the table. Uh -huh. uh, where uh -huh. is where is the mm. headphones? Headphones, perdón. Uh -huh. uh, my headphones are in the in my bag. In my bag. Okay. The sentences are good, but they are not about the picture. Okay. Las oraciones están bien, pero tendrían que haber sido de la foto que les dejé de tarea. But it's ah, okay. okay. But it's okay. Escriba dos de la foto y ya vuelvo con usted para que me dé los ejemplos. Okay. Catherine, your examples. Um, the chair is under the table. The chair is under the table. Very good. And the, the window is next to the newspaper. Okay, the chair is under the table and the window, the window is next to the newspaper. The newspaper. Good sentences. Victor Loza, give me your sentences. Ah. It's my Microsoft. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. I can. Okay. The long case, the long case clock is between the TV and the table. Okay. The desk is in front of the wall. The desk is in front of the wall. Very good. The dishes are on the table. The dishes are on the table. Okay, I found it. The dishes are on the table. I'm going to take that one. The dishes are on the, the table. table. Good. I am going to take that one as an example. The, uh, what is the name that you gave to the clock? Long case. The long case clock, right? That's the formal name of it. Thank you very much, Victor, for sharing it. Very good sentences, the ones that you have. Mr. Manuel, what are your sentences? Porque la mayoría dijeron ya. It's okay. Yo tenía escrita. Don't worry, don't worry. Eh, tengo una diferente. Go ahead. Eh, the sofa 
The desk and the phone are next to the door. The sofa, next, or... the desk and the phone. In front. In front of the door. Very good. The sofa, the desk and the telephone are in front of the door. Very good. That's a very good example. Another one. The chair. Yes. Uh, where is this? The uh, TV. The TV. The wind. See. Okay. In this case, the TV is between the clock and the window. Clock and the window. Uh huh. Yeah. The TV is between the clock and the window. Here. See. That's, yes. a, that's an example that you can give. Okay, Manuel, do you have any other example? I have 10 examples, but... Um, but you can share another say, one. Don't worry, I am uh, checking on your examples. Where is, where is, is the DVD? The DVD is, uh, is in waste basket. The DVD is in the waste basket. Good, very good. Helen, what are your examples? You can show me any example. It doesn't matter if it is repeated. No importa si está repetido. Where is the TV? Mm -hmm. The TV is behind to the clock. Behind the clock. It's behind the clock. The clock. You, oh, you don't the say clock. behind to the clock. No, behind the clock. The clock. Okay. Very good. Let me see. Who am I missing? Edward, go ahead. <laughs> Vaya. The chair is from of the table. Aha, uh -huh. the chair. Let's go with the sentence on the chair. Hagamos la oración aquí. The chair. The chairs. The chairs. The chairs. Si es plural, decimos is table. or are. Si es plural, decimos is o are. Ne is. Plural? Are. Are. Ok. The are. chairs are. Si están are. abajo de, ¿cuál es la preposición? Mm. Remember, ah, yeah. in, on, in front of, behind, next to, under, between. Under the between. Three. Under the? Under the, the, the tree, the table. Okay, under the table. Okay. Under the table. Uy, sorry, I, made, I, I was nervous. The chairs are under the table. The chairs are under the table. Very good. And in this one, you can have, uh, let's do one with the picture. The picture the picture, que es esta que está aquí de las bananas y las frutas, the picture is on picture. the wall. On the, on the wall. On the wall. Está en la pared. En, en la pared. Exactly like that. On the wall. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Edward, do you have any other example? Si te pregunto, Edward, where is the TV? Uh, and clock. Ha, huh, but it is behind. Behind, behind the club. Excellent. The TV is behind the behind club. Behind the club. Very okay. good. Si les pregunto, where is the desk? A todos en general, where is the desk? What will be your answer? The desk is under the sofa. The desk is under the sofa. Mm -hmm. Good. The, the desk is under the sofa. So Mr. William Diaz, what is your example? <laughs> Thank you, Edward. Thank you. Okay. Mr. William, uh, what is your example? Uh, the, the chair is next, next to. The chair is next to what? Uh, Puede estar aquí next to uh -huh. the chair is next to we 
clock. Use, uh -huh, next to the clock. It can be. It's next to the clock. The chair is next to the clock. And let me see. Who am I missing? ¿Quién me falta que no le he preguntado? Mr. Estreberto. What is your example? Ale Magaña. <laughs> Mr. Magaña, what is your example? <laughs> René. René Magaña, what is your example? The microphone, sweetie, the microphone. Where is two chairs? Uh -huh. Where are the two chairs? Two chairs in under the table. The chairs the table. are, estamos hablando en plural, si decimos the chairs are under on the, the table. table are under the table, right? Let's see, who am I missing? Hey, Mr. Estreberto, you didn't answer. Estreberto Reyes, Estreberto Reyes. Hello. <laughs> what is your example? Uh, what is the telephone? The telephone, uh, huh? Very good. The telephone is under the table. ¿Quién se me queda? Que no quiero que nadie se me quede sin haberme dado aunque sea un ejemplo. No. No, no, no. Hable ahora o calle para siempre. There you go. Okay, so this was basically the example that we had for these type of sentences. I think it is kind of complicated, but with a little bit more practice, it is going to be possible, okay? We are going to finish today in these last minutes that we have, okay? We're going to go here. I am going to share it back to you. And we are going to do one final exercise, okay? Let me share this with all of you. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's finish with these examples. In this case, I have the sentences and I have the options to complete them. Here, what we are going to do is to choose one of these sentences that I have here to complete the phrases that I have right here. And I have the first example, excuse me, is this the math class? Yes, it is. I am your teacher. Is my purse on the chair? ¿Cuál de todas estas creen ustedes que podemos utilizar? No, it's not. No. Is it my isn't. purse on the chair? No, it isn't. Because we are talking about an object, a purse, it, right? No, it isn't. And in here, I am going to make a line here okay no it isn't we're going to make a tripachuca here are these your glasses are these your glasses plural yes they are they yes, are yes they are right because it's plural it's plural yes they are thank you and in this one you have yes they are are these your glasses yes they are thank you Hi, are you in my math class? Are you in my math class? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. And listen to the rest of the sentence. And I am in your English class too. Yes, it is. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Sí, sí estoy. Y también estoy en tu clase de inglés. Right? Yes, I am. In this case, you have... Yes, I am. And I am also in your English class too. Are these your keys? Are these your keys? And it I says, no, my, they are not. my keys are in my pocket. No, aquí las tengo en mi bolsillo, right? Are these your keys? No, no they, are, they not. are not. Y decimos they are not porque keys in this case is plural, right? Are these your keys? No, they are not. My keys are in my pocket. And the last one for sure, it says, excuse me, are you Tomiko? Tomiko Sato? It's a Chinese name. 
And it says, my name is Michiko Tanaka. And for sure, the only option that I have is, no, I am not. No, I am not. My name is Michiko. Michiko. Okay. Es el nombre perfecto para, there you go. Michiko Tanaka. There you go. Here, in this one, it says, where is my English dictionary? Is in your book bag? No. What is missing here? It. Is it, right? Porque no tenemos sujeto. Is it in your book bag? No, it is not. No, it is not. Wait a minute. It on the desk? It, it. Yes, it is. Is it on the desk? Yes. It is. Yes, it is. Thank you. Yes, it is. Thank you. Let's go with the next exercise that we have before we finish the class today. Here we go. I am going to ask you the questions and you are going to give me the possible answers that you consider for each of them. Are you a teacher? And you say, no, I am not. I am a student. Is your name Will Smith? <laughs> no, I'm not. no, I'm not. My si name. nos estamos refiriendo a your name, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? Is your name Will Smith? No, my name is Ronnie Morokin. My, no, my name is? My name is Ronnie No, it's not. No, it no is. it is not. Eso es lo primero, oh, okay. porque nos referimos al nombre, entonces no podemos decir no, I am not. No, it is not, porque en este caso estamos hablando del nombre. No, no. it is not. Okay. Y aquí sí ya la complementamos con lo que ustedes dicen. My name is, and then you add your name, right? Is your workbook on your desk? ¿Tienen su libro de trabajo en su pupitre? ¿O en su mesa, yes. en su escritorio? So yes. you say, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it, it is. Yes, it is. Because you are talking about the workbook, the notebook, the thing that you are using to write. Yes, it is. Is your phone number 806-555-0219? No, it's not. No, no, it's no not. it is not, right? No, it is not. Uh, not. ¿Con qué lo complementaríamos? My phone number. My number. My phone number is, and then you say the number, right? My phone number is, and it says, are you in a math class right now? No. 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 We are not. I am not. We are not. No. Porque te estoy preguntando a ti directamente. Are you in a math class? Okay. No. I am, no, I am not. not. In which class are you right now? ¿En qué clase estamos ahorita? I am, I am English. in English. an English class. I am in an English class. I am in an English class. I am in an English class. No, I am not. I am in an English class class okay tell me students are you a teacher no, no I, I am no not. i'm not i am a student i am, I am a student. student is your name will smith no, 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 no. Is my no, name no. is my name is and you say, my name is Ronnie, my name is Natalie, my name yeah. is Helen, my name, and then you give your name. Is your workbook on your desk? Yes, yes, it, is. yes. yes it is. Is your phone number 806-555-0219? No, my number is not my number. And then you give your number. Don't give me the number. And the last one, are you in a math class right now? What is the name of your teacher? Nati. Ah, Nati. Okay, now you know my name. That's good that you know my name. That's good. I don't know what you say. What is the name of our teacher? Teacher. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Mi teacher no se llama teacher. He vivido engañados. 
The wallet is in the purse. Where is the chair? Behind the desk. Behind, Behind the, desk. the desk. Where are the glasses? On, On the, the chair. chair. On the chair. What is the cell phone? Under, Under the table. The Under the table. Under the table. Where is the newspaper? In front, in front of the, the briefcase. briefcase. The newspaper the is in front of the briefcase. Briefcase is the maletín. In front of the briefcase. And the keys. Next to Our next to the, the hairbrush. hairbrush. The hairbrush. The one that the you hairbrush. use to comb your hair. Good. So... In this one, we are going to use them tomorrow to create sentences in plural. But what are you going to do? What it's going to be the homework. Based on this one that you have, these, these, that, and those, I need you to create sentences using the different objects that we have here, okay? Usando estos diferentes objetos que tenemos aquí o cualquier otro objeto que usted quiera ocupar. But I need you to complement these sentences. And I am going to send you an example of a picture in the chat, okay? I am going okay. to send you this picture because you are going to complement, you are going to complement these sentences using either singulars or plurals, okay? Vamos a completar estas oraciones usando singulares o plurales, mm -hmm. depende lo que corresponda. Si tenemos this is a, aquí que le vamos a poner, un singular o un plural? Singular. 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 Si tenemos these are plural. 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 These are apples, dogs, cats, doors, houses, whatever plural thing that you want to use, okay? So, we are going to have this ready for tomorrow. This is everything that I have for today, my dear students. I am going to be more than glad to see you tomorrow in our last class of the week, ¿ok? Mañana tenemos nuestra última clase de la semana. Preparémonos y estudiemos un poquito de las countries and nationalities, países y nacionalidades. Si podemos hacer una Google research, it will be perfect, ¿ok? Have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay.